Hello everyone, it's PC Alpa here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game Valorant on your PC. All you have to do is just watch this video till the end and follow each and every step very carefully and you'll be good to go. And you'll definitely see a significant difference in your gaming performance. So just before starting, subscribe to my channel now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one. In this one, we'll be clean booting our PC. And what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC. So it is a really important part and a lot of people just ignore this step but I really recommend this step so just first clean boot your PC and then proceed to the other steps. And if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, I've already made this guide of 4 minutes on how you can clean boot your PC. It's a really quick guide so I'll provide you the link of this video in the description of this one. So just click in the click on the link of this video in the description of this video and clean boot your PC and after that proceed to the second step. So in the second step right click on your PC screen and go to NVIDIA control panel. So the demonstration of this step is specific to NVIDIA users because I have an NVIDIA graphic card but AMD users can also do the same in their AMD Catalyst control center. So now go to manage 3D settings, in manage 3D settings and go to program settings. Make sure you are not under global settings and you are under program settings. Here add, click on add and add valorant win64shipping.exe file, you will get an option to add it or what you can do is if you don't get it automatically, just browse to your games directory and search for it and you will get this file. So once you have added it, after adding it, select high performance NVIDIA processor in the second step and it is really important because sometimes what happens is in PCs with dual graphic cards, one integrated and dedicated, sometimes the game runs with the help of integrated and does not look towards the dedicated graphic card. So it's important to select it here. And now under power management mode, prefer maximum performance. So these are the basic settings that you have to do and it, you will surely see a significant difference after applying them. So once you've applied them, you can proceed to the third step. But if you also want to change some advanced settings in the global settings, you can see my video on NVIDIA control panels best settings for gamers. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description. So it is a complete guide on how you can set up your NVIDIA control panel. Now let's proceed to the ne next step. In the third step, we'll be changing in-game settings. I'll show you with the help of screenshot because my PC is right now running a very heavy video editing software Filmora for recording the screen. So I cannot run the game simultaneously with this software. So I'll show you with the help of screenshots. So first go to your settings and in general select the resolution. Make sure that your resolution here is equal to the resolution of your screen for better performance. And in display mode select full screen and all the settings below it change it to as I have done as you can see. Once you have changed all the settings like I have done go to graphic quality. In graphic quality as you can see I have changed everything to low and off and isotropic filtering 1x, anti-aliasing none and everything to off because in games which are just online games the main preference is not graphics the main preference is the FPS. So for best FPS I have changed everything to low and I recommend you all to change it to low if you don't have RTX 2080 or a really high end graphic card in your PC. So now let's go to stats and in stats also change everything to like I have done. So once you have done it, that's it for the in-game setting. Now let's proceed to the next step. So I consider this step to be the most important one. And this one you have to right click on your battery icon and go to power options. In power options, by default it is on balance. You have to select Razer Cortex power plan. But you won't be having a Razer Cortex power plan if you haven't downloaded the Razer Cortex game booster. So to download it, I have already made a guide on how to download it, install it and how to do advanced setup of Razer Cortex for gamers. So this is the most important step because it will help you in increasing your PC's overall game performance for all games and not just specific to this game. So I really recommend you to download this game booster. See this video, I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. And I'm telling you by my personal experience and it is not a paid promotion at all. It's just my personal experience that I consider Razer Cortex Game Booster to be the best one. So I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. Go to this video, download Razer Cortex Game Booster and do the advanced setup of it. And I'm sure that you'll see a significant difference in your gaming performance after that. Now let's proceed to the second next step. So in this step, we'll be changing the priority of a game. So just right click on your taskbar and go to task manager. And once your task manager is open, so what you have to do is you have to first open your game. After running your game, you have to open task manager. But my game is not running in the background right now. 
so i'll show you with the help of windows wonder share filmora 9 on how to change the priority of your game valorant you have to do the same with valorant.exe once you open the game your game will appear here in the apps running so just click on the valorant.exe file like i'm doing on wondershare filmora.exe and go to its details so just go to its details you have to do the same with that game and right click on the game's exe file and set its priority to real time change priority change priority you will see only one file for valorant.exe so you have to do the same with valorant.exe just change its priority to high and you will also again see increase in fps after performing this step now i'll show you some minor settings that you can change in your pc to increase your pc's overall performance so now you have to go to your file explorer and right click on your this pc and go to its properties in its properties go to advanced system settings in advanced system settings under performance click on settings in advanced under performance click on settings so by default it's on let windows choose what's best for your computer but you have to click on custom and just untick everything here just untick everything and just take smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons so just select these and it will save a lot of your system's ram click on ok again click on ok and now another thing that you can do is just go to your run command box run and here type temp and delete your temporary files right now my temporary temp folder is empty so if you are having any files here just delete them all they are all just junk files so delete them all another thing what you can do is just again go to your run command box and type percentage sign temp and again percentage sign press enter and here delete everything here these are also junk files so just shift plus delete and delete them permanently delete everything here permanently so these files are being deleted now some files won't be deleted because they might be used in some background process right now so just skip those files and just do this for all, all current items and skip those files once you have done it now the last thing that you can do to increase your pc's gaming performance is just go to your start menu and go to settings in settings go to gaming and in gaming go to game mode and just turn off the game mode and yeah it's true that this game mode doesn't help in improving gaming performance instead it takes a lot of your pc's ram and it's just not at all good so just turn it off now after performing all these steps restart your pc and try running your game and i'm sure you'll see a significant difference in your gaming performance so the most important steps are razer cortex game booster changing in-game settings and also changing your nvidia control panel settings and rest all steps are used for changing uh, improving your pc's overall gaming performance so they will also help so perform everything and you'll surely see a significant difference so i hope you like this video so just leave a like on this video if you like this and also if you have any query write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.